In 1988, Esprit de Corps magazine was founded by the husband and wife team of Scott and Catherine Taylor as an in-flight magazine distributed aboard Canadian Forces passenger planes. In the spring of 1991, in the wake of the Oka crisis and the first Gulf War, Esprit de Corps went over the top to become a completely independent commercial newsstand publication devoted to military issues, the first of its kind in Canada. From the outset, Esprit de Corps was designed to be reader-friendly with a combination of investigative journalism, insightful history, and independent views. As a monthly publication, Esprit de Corps' feature reports have consistently broken major news stories ahead of the mainstream media. After more than two decades of producing award-winning news content, Esprit de Corps is without a doubt the most influential military magazine in Canada. Publisher Scott Taylor has earned a reputation as a top war correspondent in global hotspots, reporting for all the major media outlets in Canada, as well as many international publications. Taylor has written eight best-selling books, translated into five languages, and this includes his midlife memoir, Unembedded. Taylor's five-day ordeal as a hostage at the hands of the Al-Qaeda terrorists in Iraq in 2004 is told in the National Geographic docudrama Locked Up Abroad, Iraq. Esprit de Corps, in partnership with television producer William Bill Luxton, has also produced two award-winning documentaries for the Cable Public Affairs Channel, CPAC. For the documentary Afghanistan Outside the Wire, publisher Scott Taylor and military journalist David Pugliese traveled throughout Afghanistan to examine Canada's involvement in this war-torn country. In early 2011, Canada's decision to purchase 65 Joint Strike Fighter aircraft was scrutinized for the documentary F-35, The Politics of Procurement. Taylor leads a writing team at Esprit de Corps that includes David Pugliese, Canada's top defense reporter, veterans affairs columnist Les Peet, military legal affairs expert Colonel Michel Drapeau, and satirical columnist Michael Nickerson, along with a dedicated team of young reporters and experienced historians. Who reads Esprit de Corps? According to noted Canadian military personality Major General Louis Mackenzie, everyone in uniform reads Esprit de Corps. Of course, in addition to the internal Canadian Forces readership, Esprit de Corps has found a loyal subscriber base among the entire defence community ranging from young cadets to aging veterans, from industry and political leaders to ordinary Canadian citizens who wish to be plugged in to military issues. So what does Esprit de Corps offer potential advertisers? First and foremost, we offer them readers, not simply a mailbox number on a controlled circulation list. Our readers are engaged with the issues, and this is reflected in our lively letters to the editor section. They not only read the magazine from cover to cover, but they respond and share their views on the issues discussed. This is something you don't get in trade periodicals crammed with advertorials. The second quality Esprit de Corps offers advertisers is the value for their dollar. Our advertising rates are a fraction of the cost of other defense-specific trade magazines because our major revenue stream is readership-based. The fact that our subscribers and newsstand customers wish to purchase our publication not only guarantees an effective response to advertising, it also allows us to reduce ad rates to reflect mainstream, circulation-based pricing. Proof of the effectiveness of this technique is evident in the consistency of the small advertisers who run ads in Esprit de Corps. If there wasn't a positive return on investment, this would not be the case. The third quality Esprit de Corps offers advertisers is the value of the longevity of their message. More than 40% of our content each month is serialized history, depicting the glorious victories and grueling defeats experienced by Canadian warriors dating back to the landing of the Vikings over a thousand years ago. Unlike a news magazine or a trade publication, which often get discarded with the arrival of the next issue, Esprit de Corps readers tend to share their copies with friends or retain them as part of their own personal historical reference resource. In short, we offer a responsive readership 
at reduced rates for the simple reason that we are the one that's red.